All righty, I finally, it's finally happened, guys. It's happening. Construction is started, and you know what that means? I've told you guys, the minute it starts, it is full force from here on out. Setting up fences, doing whatever they need to get whatever they need done for this project. It is just going to be full force construction moving forward. Um, so rebar cages have arrived on site. I am going to tell you right now that Canada's Wonderland has gotten a lot smarter, or the construction companies as well. Um, and there is no important details on any of these papers. So you just have to catch them at the right time, I guess, um, to get some inside information. Um, over here by Tunnel 1, they were uh, hydro vacuuming. Sorry, I had to remember the word. Um, some electrical for the area. Sorry, I'm still struggling a little bit to breathe, but I am starting to feel a lot better. Um, so they were hydro vacuuming, getting the electrical set up for launch number three, I believe. I'm calling that launch number three, that area. So um, that is just a prediction, by the way. There is no concrete evidence behind that guess. Um, so you can hear me struggling to breathe now. But over in the station area, here is launch. So you can see right there, L3. That is launch column number three for launch number one. So this is launch number one. After you turn out of the station, you're going to hit a little booster launch. And you're going to head down into tunnel three. The construction workers were waving at me. I'm so sorry, by the way, if any of you are watching this. I am going to be annoying all season. Um, if you see me filming, it is just for nerdy videos like this. Um... And I'm, I'm sorry. This is just my second job. Um, so you might have to get used to it because I'm just going to film. I'm sorry. Um, but outside of that, the footings are very deep. Um, so again, this is the first launch out of the station. That'll launch you into Tunnel 3. And then the coaster will do whatever it's going to do down there. There is something I want to talk about. This is very important information. The station is tiny. Really small. Um, now... Again, sometimes it looks a lot smaller than it might be in the end, so maybe it'll be full-size trains. But if I had to guess, um, again, this is just a prediction, so do not take this as solid evidence. But um, I'm predicting that the trains might be just three, four cars long. Um, so we're looking at shorter trains, whether that ends up being Premier or a smaller Zamperla train. Um, we're looking at something like that. Um, so yeah, there's the rebar cages. This is the station area. That's the launch heading down into the tunnel. Um, and yeah, so they are working. It's really loud. Uh, they brought this thing in first thing in the morning. I was told you got to go film. Um, and yeah, so there's the Quezon company's, uh, supplies. You saw it for, uh, Moosehorn Falls. I told you we were just waiting for them to move over. I was right. It's the same company. You can tell it's the same trailer. Uh, I promise I wasn't lying to you guys. Things were just delayed. They were falling a little bit behind. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited that it's finally started. It means action every day. It means I get up out, off my feet and I'm at the park every day. Um, it gives me something to do and it gives me stuff to pass on to you guys. So, you know, I was really starting to affect me mentally even just not having anything to present to you guys um, because obviously I live for this stuff. This is like what I'm really good at. This is what I like to do. Um, so it was getting a little defeating, not having anything to film and present to you guys. So I'm just really excited. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I'm trying to think if there was anything. No sign of anything on top of the mountain. Obviously, I'm still flying my drone because it gives me really good vantage points. Um, and I didn't pay $6,000 for a drone for no reason. Um, Got to use that enterprise. <laughs> so as you can see here, they got some of those big holes. Um, that last footing on the launch is massive, by the way. Look at the size difference. So that little size there, that little one, and then it's got that big one. Here's that um, hydro vacuum I was talking about um, over in the um, Tunnel 1 area. So they're just working on the, um, what I believe, getting the electrical hooked up for launch number three. Um, outside of that, Moosehorn Falls is coming along nicely. They're getting the, um, what do you call that? The plumbing uh, starting to head up towards the tower. They are a little bit behind on the electrical and plumbing building by the looks of things. You'll see from my drone footage in a second. Um, I get you guys a good shot over by my old drone spot. And then um, across the highway, you'll see the shot over there as well. Um, so we are a little bit behind based off of that. That power building is an important part of Wonderland's future projects, by the way. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting on that. There's a reason Backlot is running. <coughs> 
at a lower capacity. Um, they are working on getting the concrete um, to go around Moosehorn Falls, the pathways for guests to walk on. So they cut off the curb over by the wave pool um, and they're getting ready to pour that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else for Moosehorn. Um, it does look like they cleaned her, by the way. It looks like they ran water through the slide or just cleaned her, whatever it was. Um, the, the plumbing's not hooked up though, so I'm not trying to allude to the water slide um, was working. I had someone ask me about the limited operations. Is it because of the power issues and the plumbing issues at Wonderland? No, uh, lifeguards are between the ages of 16 and 19. Um, they're all in exams right now and it's open weekdays and that is why it has limited operations during the weekday operations right now for the water park. That's all. Um, as you can see there, there's the electrical for Moosehorn, not connected to the building yet. Still working on that as well. So there's still a lot of work to do. We are probably still about two to three weeks out for Moosehorn. Um, I am going to make a video with all the questions you guys asked in my story. Don't worry. Um, I just wanted to get out here and talk about the construction today and everything going on. There is more land clearing going on around this storage area. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, you guys will have daily updates again. I'm choking again on air. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and enjoying these construction updates. It gives me something to do and something to look forward to. Have a good one, guys. Bye.